Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and one of the recommendations I made when asking what other Guild Wars 2 videos I can make was show what my inventory looked like. So, and how I organized it rather. So what I did originally was got a whole bunch of different bags and used this little cogwheel up here and did the show slash hide bags option so I didn't have to individually look at each and every bag. Now, how I organize my inventory is I let all of the crap just flow in up here and I try to keep my salvage kits along this at least maybe fill these five slots. I still have to buy some salvage kits because I use them all on uh, salvage items I bought for the Agent of Entropy achievement. And also I keep all of my extra mining picks, logging axes, and harvesting sickles on the right hand, bottom right hand side of my inventory and I usually stack them up to maybe uh, two from the top. And I just keep them all there for whenever I need to swap to them whenever I run out of one. I never ever carry around mithril, sickle, mining picks, or axes. I don't like uh, having to switch to them whenever I run into a good node. And I found that you forget to switch to them more often than not. And you wind up losing the money that you were trying to save. At least from what I've heard people complaining about. Like, oh man, I just you know did two whacks and I just lost that Ori Chalcom. I would prefer to not even take that risk. Plus... If you do the math, 100, 100 uses of the mining picks and logging axes means they cost 4 copper per whack. So you're making your money back really no matter what you're gathering. Even if I went, went over here and gathered this gummo sapling on the minimap and got softwood logs, I'd still be making money with each whack. Now, uh, other than that, other stuff I keep down in the bottom of my inventory, magic fine foods, I keep down here in my black lion chest, which I never get rid of. They're, they all stay down here. Other stuff like uh, stuff that I know for a fact I don't want to sell. Crystal cores, molten cores. I got an instant repair canister, the candy powered matter meter, which is trash now, so I'm going to just destroy that. This up here, dwarven keys, which I get whenever I farm dredge haunt, which I don't care about. And uh, really anything else that I just want to sell in the auction house later. Say, like, I don't want to salvage that. I'll move this down here because I want to sell it on the auction house later. Move that down here. Whenever I'm doing something that doesn't require my complete attention. I just move everything down to the bottom of my inventory here. That way, the when I open the vendor, the last few bags that are displayed are all stuff that I want to sell in the auction house or just plain flat out don't want to sell as it is. And then, of course, whenever I... Uh, you know, want to deposit all of the stuff in my inventory to the collectibles tab. I go up here to this options and then go deposit all collectibles and well, it didn't click. There we go. And everything went to, and everything in my inventory goes to my collectibles tab that can fit in there. As you could see, it's not much. My collectibles is almost full for just about everything. But aside from that, that's pretty much all there is to it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, like, comment, and subscribe for future Guild Wars 2 videos.